I'd like to take a few moments to show you a throttle that I've developed that connects to a rather interesting and innovative uh, open source project for DCC control called DCC++. The throttle is over here on the left and it's connected to the DCC++ controller over here. The DCC++ controller is composed of two things. On the bottom is a standard Arduino Uno, such as the one that I have here. And connected on top of that is a standard Arduino Motor Shield, such as the one that I have here. Uh, altogether, I think I have a little under $10 in those two boards when I purchased them from eBay. And they're connected to the throttle that I developed. Uh, it's composed of three or four different components. First of all, inside there is an Arduino Pro Mini, such as the one here, that's on a circuit board that I developed for another project. Uh, it also has an infrared receiver here, similar to one you would have on your television set, so that I can send commands to it from a standard TV remote control. This remote control happens to be set for Sony codes, but you could use just about any remote with a little bit of modification to the software. Uh, in addition, inside of the throttle is a sound card, an MP3 player, looks a little bit like this, that takes a standard micro SD card, tiny little card like that, that you can put sound files on. So it talks as you're giving controls, and it allows you to operate it without worrying about looking at the screen to see if you've typed in the right command. I've got two engines on a, uh, a set of DCC tracks, and you see the speaker in the back there. What I'd like to do is to get the engine in the back faster, running. Faster, faster, faster. Faster. Stop. Backward. Zero. Faster. 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 Forward. Three. Nine. Now you may have Stop. noticed a few things there. When I was pressing the up arrow on the remote, it kept saying faster, faster. 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 And if I held it faster. down, it would go quite faster. quickly uh, in the, uh, the higher speed mode. And if I press the forward, forward. button... Two. Five. It says the direction that you're traveling, in that case forward, and faster, the speed. Faster. Now I've got it up into the 30s somewhere. Four, one, oh, actually in the 40s. Stop. And I'll stop it. And you'll notice on the screen that it shows right now the speed is zero. Uh, the address is 7375, which happens to be the DCC address of that locomotive. And there's a little arrow uh, pointing to the left, which means it's going backwards. Forward, zero. Now it says forward. Backward, backward, zero. Forward. forward. Now, if zero. we want to operate the other locomotive, which happens to be number 1830, I press the mute button on the remote. Set loco ID. And now I can type in 1813. Now I have control of the other locomotive. Faster, faster. And that one has a sound card, so you hear it ramping up. If I press the 1, Stop. that controls the bell function. I'll turn that off. One, two, two. Number 2 does a rather noisy horn, and as I recall, number 9 turns the sound off. Uh, it may look like a bit of a rat's nest back here, but the only real connections between the DCC++ controller here and the throttle that I put together is a two-wire connection. It's a serial cable that allows the throttle to send commands to the DCC++ controller. The advantage of having a separate uh, throttle with a separate microcontroller is that no matter what happens to the DCC++ controller in terms of software modifications down the road, that throttle will still work. It's not tied to a particular version of the DCC++ software. Uh, as far as um, enhancements to this, one of the things that I would like to do is to connect the uh, uh, the second serial line between the two so that the DCC++ can talk back to the throttle to tell it how much current's being drawn and such like that. Haven't done that yet, but that's, that's on my list. I'd also like to add a point-to-point -point capability to the throttle so that I can set it up for a trolley that would go back and forth uh, on a DCC track, probably use reed switches or something similar 
uh, to trigger the, uh, the reversing of that particular device. I also need to spend some time debugging and optimizing the code and perhaps put together a new circuit board that's not based on another project that will make this a little bit uh, easier should other people be interested in putting it together. But for right now, it is a functional unit. Uh, it, it's good for experimenting and uh, it seems to work rather well.